From Amateur Radio Newsline Report, number 1,995, these are the Ham Nation headlines for Wednesday, January 27, 2016. The annual ARRL board meeting took place January 15th and 16th, and some of the results made our Newsline team extremely proud. Amateur Radio Newsline's 1997 Young Ham of the Year recipient, Brian Milishowski, in 5ZGT, was elected as vice president of the ARRL. Milishowski was currently serving as a Rocky Mountain Division Director, and to fill his shoes in that role is Vice Director Dwayne Allen, WY7FD, who will become the new Rocky Mountain Division Director. When Brian was asked how he felt about his newly elected position, he had this to say. We Young Ham of the Year kids are sure causing some good trouble. Also, AR Newsline's 2004 Young Ham of the Year recipient, Andrea Hartledge, KG4IUM, was elected by the board to another term as director on the ARRL Foundation. In other election news, with ARRL President Kay Craigie in 3KN stepping down after three terms, a new president and several other officers have also been elected during the annual board meeting. Rick Roderick, K5UR, previously the first vice president, has been elected as the next president for the ARRL. Greg Wyden, K0GW, previously the Dakota Division Director, was elected as first vice president. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Amanda Alden, K1DDN. Congratulations, Brian and Andrea. Amanda has more in her full report, and you can hear it in this week's Amateur Radio Newsline. As winter bears down on the Northeast, some folks in Florida are using the opportunity as a training exercise. On Monday, January 18th, when Florida temperatures plummeted, Henry County, Florida Emergency Management deployed workers to two cold weather shelters on either side of the huge county. They included Andrew Frame, WD4RCC, and his wife Brandy, as well as Frank Harris Sr., WA4PAM. Both Frank and Andrew are EM reservists as well as hams. All the while, EM director Brian Newhouse, KJ4WIC, transported supplies, the area's homeless, and did troubleshooting. With local municipal support, the hams, working with a trained group of non-hams, kept things running smoothly, according to Andrew Frame. He credits the recent emphasis on cross-training county emergency service responders and radio amateurs. And he said this cold snap was the first test of how well that cross-training across multiple disciplines really worked. He said, quote, it puts everyone more or less on the same page, or at least the same chapter in the book, end quote. One of the next stages in cross-training, getting the community emergency response team volunteers ready for their technician license exam. January is turning out to be a key month in more ways than one for the Straight Key Century Club. The club's annual month-long event, K3Y, got underway on January 2 and continues through January 31. But this year it also marks the 10-year anniversary for this club of CW enthusiasts. The Straight Key Century Club was founded in 2006 following the ARRL Straight Key Night event that same year. The on-air party is an invitation to all hams to experiment with their Morse code skills using straight keys, bugs, and side swipers. K3Y operators will be working stations in each of the U.S call areas, and there will be other stations in each of the six IARU continental regions using call signs with KH6, KL7, and KP4. QSL cards and, of course, sweep certificates will also be available. For Amateur Radio Newsline, I'm Neil Rapp, WB9VPG in Bloomington, Indiana. Congratulations on 10 years of pounding the brass. And that's all from the Amateur Radio Newsline, your independent source for amateur radio news for over 37 years and counting at www.arnewsline.org. With Amanda Alden, K1DDN, Neil Rapp, WB9VPG, Karen Eve Murray, KD2GUT at the news desk in New York, and our news team worldwide. I'm Don Wellbanks, AE5DW. 73, we'll see you next time here on Ham Nation.